When you need a super easy side dish, whether you're planning a party, going to a party, or it's a potluck, this broccoli salad is it. It is so delicious and so easy to make. Welcome to the Salted Pepper, where we cook for real life, using real food, and we keep it real simple. And today I'm gonna make a very simple uh, broccoli salad. And I don't even have any appliances here because I've already prepped the ingredients. I made the bacon in the grill, which was amazing. It only took 12 minutes. And then I hard boiled the eggs in the pressure cooker. So we're all done with that. The eggs have been chilling, the bacon is drained, and it is ready to be crumbled and we have our broccoli. This is three cups of broccoli, and I put them into florets that are on the small side because this is a salad that we're gonna eat. The broccoli's not cooked, so we don't want them too big, okay? So if you have a bigger one, like maybe this might be a little big, just sort of break it in half. All right, three cups of broccoli, two cups of cauliflower done the same exact way with the small florets half of a cup of red onion. Now, of course, if you don't like onions, you can leave it out. You could use a, a white onion too, that's fine. But I like the color combination. This is a beautiful dish too. So it's it's wonderful to take uh, to any kind of a holiday party or a potluck or a picnic or anything that you're doing. This is a great salad. It can be made about two to three days in advance and sit in the refrigerator and it is even going to be better than if you make it the day of the party. All right, the next thing I'm gonna add in is about a quarter cup of uh, craisins, so dried cranberries. That's totally optional too. You do not have to do that. That's just something I like to add that little bit of sweetness to the salad. I think it balances everything out really well. Then we're gonna add in two hard boiled eggs. And if you have not used a pressure cooker to hard boil eggs, Oh my gosh, it is the easiest thing in the world, the way that the peels come off. I mean, it is just like amazing. So you can make your deviled eggs in no time at all and not have those gouges in the egg. The peels just come right off. It's, it's like magic, really. Now, most people use the 555 method, which means five minutes pressure cook, five minutes natural release, and five minutes um, in a water bath cold water bath, but I don't do that. I find that that makes my eggs a little bit too done and they start to turn a little bit on the greenish side, it's just like this tint to the egg yolk and I don't like that. So I take my pressure cook time down to four minutes and then I do between a five and a six minute natural release and leave them in the water bath until I'm ready to use them. If you're interested in making the bacon in the Ninja Foodie Grill, that temperature was uh, 360 for 12 minutes. I used the basket and I did not flip them. I didn't have to do anything. They turned out gorgeous. I used the new grill though, the one that has more surface area. And they turned out just perfect. And it's thick cut bacon, so if it was thinner slices of bacon, you would definitely need to adjust your time. All right, so let's get these eggs cut up and I'm just gonna do that right over the bowl. I just take my knife and I'm very careful about this. So don't, don't freak out. I'm not gonna cut myself. And I just dice them up just like that and get them into the bowl. Now the eggs are optional too. I just like to add them. In fact, sometimes I actually chop up some uh, tomatoes and add those in as well, but I didn't do that today. I take the seeds out though. So I'm just getting like the skin and I don't get a whole lot of the juice. All right, I'm just roughly chopping these. It really doesn't matter. They just need to be in bite-sized pieces. Probably would have been easier for me to do it on the cutting board and then I wouldn't be scaring everybody with this knife. But, you know, I live life on the edge sometimes. All right, so that is pretty much it. Let's get three pieces of bacon. You could put in two, you could put in four. It doesn't matter. I might even add in the last uh, one since I have it there. So we're going to add this. Now, if you were going to keep this for a couple of days and you wanted the bacon to be on the crunchy side, then don't add the bacon in until just before serving it. And then the bacon will stay a little crunchier. No problems, why not, right? All right, now let's get our dressing mixed up, which is super easy. Just three ingredients. 
The first ingredient is one cup of mayonnaise. Now I was thinking about this. I haven't made it with yogurt, but I bet you could. It would have a little bit different of a taste. You might need to add some salt and some other seasonings, but uh, you certainly could give that a try. It would give the creaminess that you want. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And now it usually calls for a quarter cup of white sugar, but instead of the sugar, I wanted to try out something called Swerve. And so that's what I have here. And I made a test batch. It was absolutely delicious. Usually I don't like artificial sweeteners because I can taste the aftertaste and it's just not pleasant. So usually I'll just say, oh, if I'm gonna make something with sugar, I'll just make it with you know, real sugar. But this swerve is, it's pricey, but it's pretty impressive. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So if you wanted to use real sugar, it's a quarter cup or a quarter cup of the swerve, which really, even Jeff, Jeff, oh my gosh, any artificial sweetener, he, he's like, mm -mm, no, no, no. But he liked the broccoli salad. He said you could not tell. There was no aftertaste. And then just mix this up. So this is like a very simple uh, coleslaw dressing. I don't even add any salt or pepper. I mean, you can, but I find the flavors in the salad to be plenty flavorful. All right, let's pour this on. These kind of dishes really help when you're entertaining and you have a whole lot of heated food that you need to make. To have something that's cold is just a, you know, a lifesaver. So this is a wonderful uh, vegetable dish that's a side dish and it's, oh, it's just so good. All right, mix it up really well and then it's important to chill it. You have to chill it so that all the flavors kind of go through. And, and really, even though we just use a little bit of the vinegar, it does soften the broccoli some. Not, not too much, but a little bit. So you don't want to serve it right away. You want to definitely refrigerate it for a couple of hours at the minimum, but it is better the next day. All right, one last thing I'm going to add in, which is completely optional, I don't always do it, oops, is some sunflower seeds. So thought I would try it. I, the test batch, I didn't do this, but I thought this is gonna be good. So we're gonna add in a quarter cup of sunflower seeds. Those are toasted and lightly salted. Or you could put in almonds. That would be really good. Some, you know, finely chopped almonds and or pecans or something like that. So you can really get creative with this base. All right, that looks pretty good. And that's it, that's all there is to it. Now I'm just gonna pop on a cover, get it in the refrigerator for a few hours, and then I will give it a taste. All right, so it's been a few hours and I have the broccoli salad out, so I'm just gonna uncover it, give it a little bit of a stir here. Oh, it looks so good. This is really one of my favorite cold salads. There's just something about it. It's got all the flavors. The sweet, little tangy. Oops, I made a, made a mess here. All right, that looks good. Let me make sure I have a cranberry or two. And of course, you could put more cranberries in. You could omit the cauliflower. You could omit the broccoli and, and use all cauliflower and call it cauliflower salad. You know, you could do so many different things. Leave out the egg, put in the egg, change the onion, whatever you want to do. All right, let's give it a taste. So here's the broccoli and let's see. Mmm. Perfect crunch on that. It's not, it's funny. They don't taste raw, like just raw broccoli on a vegetable tray because they're coated in that dressing. Mmm. Cauliflower is perfect. The flavors are amazing. Really amazing. And let me get a little bit of a bite with everything. So I've got pretty much everything except for a sunflower seed. So let me grab one of those. All right, this has everything. Oh, it doesn't have bacon. Let's grab a little. That's a big piece of bacon. Let's grab a little piece of bacon here. There we go. All right, here it is. 
the bite of all bites. Mmm. I love this. To me, there's nothing better than the cranberry. It adds a different texture, so it's a little bit on the chewy side. You've got crunchy, chewy, you've got sweet, savory. Everything you want is in here. And I was thinking the other day, you could even add a little bit of cheddar cheese if you wanted to add another little bit of flavor, a little different color, you know, a little yellow in there, that'd be fine. So as always, make it yours and make it delicious.